I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make a spring composition, foreground, middle ground, and background. Starting right over here on the left, I'm going to put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw straight line, curve line, straight line up. Right here where I stop, I draw a curve line down, connect on the right, and a curve line down, connect on the left. In the center, I draw a straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, connect. I come straight down below and I draw another straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Coming on the left, I draw a straight line down off the page, come up on the right, straight line down off the page. Right here at this indentation, I draw straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal. At the end, I put a little flat oval on each, okay? Now I move over and I put a dot. From that dot, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, stop. On the right, curve line down, connect. Come to the left, curve line down, connect. In the center. Straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, connect. Come all the way down to the center on the bottom, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Come back to the left, straight line down off the page, straight line down off the page. Come right here at the indentation, draw me one, two, three straight lines, Flat oval, flat oval, flat oval on each. If you have room, let's do one more. Put a dot, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, curve line in, connect on the right, curve line in, connect on the left. Straight diagonal up in the center, straight diagonal down, come down below, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Come on the left hand side, straight line down off the page on the left, straight line down off the page on the right. Come back to your indentations, draw one, two, three straight lines, flat oval, or a little flat pancake at the edge of each tip. Okay? This is the foreground. These are going to be the biggest things we're going to draw. Now for the middle ground, starting over here on the left, I'm going to draw a skinny oval. I come right about here and I draw a curve line out, down, curve line one, two, three, four, connect. Come on the right hand, I mean the left hand side, curve line out, down, one, two, three, four, connect. Come up to the very top, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, connect. Come at the very bottom, one, two, three, curve lines, connect. Come up to the top again and we're going to put one dot, two dots. And now we're going to draw straight lines to each one of our little indentations on the right. Straight line on each one of the little indentations on the left. Okay? Now, if you have room, put a dot. Let's draw another flat oval or flat pancake. Right about here, curve line out. Curve line, one, two, three, four, five. Curve line out, 
one, two, three, four, five. Right at the bottom, curve line. One, two, three. Up at the top, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in. One dot, two dots. And now draw straight lines dividing up this section to the curves. Now everybody's going to end up with a different amount. That's okay. We all draw differently. So this is the middle ground. They're midpoint in size. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is my background. And these are going to be curve line up, straight line down, curve line up, straight line down, curve line up, connect. And then one, two. Let's do that again. Find a space. Curve line up, straight line down, curve line up, straight line down, curve line up, connect, one, two. I have spaces over here, so I'm going to draw them again. Curve line up, straight line down, straight line over, curve line down, curve line up, one, two. I have one more space here. Let's start with a dot, curve line up, straight line down, curve line over, curve line down, curve line up, one, two. Let me see if I can fit one more in maybe a baby one right here. Put a dot, curve line up, straight line down, Straight line, curve line over, curve line up, one, two. So your flowers, foreground, birds, midground, butterflies, background. Now, wherever I still have a space, I'm going to add a little baby circle. That's just to fill in my space. And on this project, I kind of wanted it to look like a, um, I'm going to say quilt. But what I'm really saying is I'm going to finish my edges with a dotted line. So I take my time, and with a dotted line, I go all the way around the very edge of my paper. doesn't have to be big. But I'm just going to finish off my line, give this picture a little different look than what I normally do. You've got to do all four sides. If I stop, I know somebody else will stop and say, well, she finished, I finished. No, you've got to do all four sides, all the way across. Okay? Finishing your borders. That's what it is. It's a border. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is supposed to be a spring composition, so I really went to town on my flowers. So first I start, I always do light to dark, so I wanted my flowers to have three colors coloring it in. So I start out with yellow and put some yellow on my flowers. Then I follow that with some pink to give it that spring bouquet look. So I did all of these light to dark. Don't forget your middle section. I did pink and then lightly lightly I went over everything with a little bit of orange. Okay, not too dark but everything I went over with orange. Now you can do any colors you want. These are the ones I did. I was thinking about doing red but then I flipped over to pastels. So, colors. The little dots at the ends, I'm going to do yellow. And my stem, I did a dark green. Now, again, you can really kind of have fun with this one because flowers can be any color you want. You can really have fun with all the colors. This is just what I did. Okay. Next, on my birds, I did their wings. 
I did their tail feathers and this is red violet sometimes I like to use colors that I don't use all the time and I find them in my crayon bag and I go why not so I left these all red violet I left the middle part of their bodies alone but I did use orange for my beaks and then I made another color com conscious choice and I did all of my butterflies blue green every single thing that I'm coloring you can color your own colors these were the ones that I chose you could choose something totally different then just as a little extra pop of color I used regular blue to color in all my baby circles you know a lot of times depending on what color crayons I have available that'll be the palette that means the kind of colors that you use so look through your crayon boxes or your bags like I have a bag pull out the colors you never use and use those that would be fun okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my spring composition foreground middle ground and background all colored in and make sure you make your favorite choices for your colors these are only for an idea okay bye bye